Well, first of all, it's amazing to see so many people here. Uh, my name is Renata. I was uh, born in Poland, raised in Israel, lived in Montreal, I'm Jewish. Moved here six years ago. Um, I speak uh, more than one language, and one of the things that uh, happened in Israel when I was a kid, I don't know if you know, but in Israel you start learning English and Arabic in the third grade. Uh, so the idea is to, uh, first of all, understand the cartoons, of course. <laughs> uh, but the Arabic is amazing because Israel is really trying to make friends and uh, neighbors uh, with the Arab that are there, living there, and whoever uh, lives around. I know that not a lot of people know it, and every time I, I tell it, they are amazed. Uh, so we learn about, about the Arab culture, about the Muslims, we visit villages, they come and visit us. When I was in team, I was part of this uh, a peace project. I was in team a long time ago. Uh, but it's still going on, this peace project. Uh, so you learn a lot about who is doing what and how to talk with people. For example, one of the things that you learn is uh, that uh, your mama joke. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I don't even have to explain. I'm not saying. <laughs> so here is what happened to me. I'm familiar with a lot of languages. I really know how to start a fight in five and a half languages. <laughs> I'm in Costco Friday, 6 p.m., completely packed. My daughter, 17 years old, sitting next to me. I'm waiting for a parking place to get free. And my lights are up. Everything is waiting. The minute that the spot is getting free, some other car from nowhere gets in and takes my spot. Okay, but we're in the east side. People are nice, right? So I'm thinking to myself, I'll go, I'll knock on the window. <laughs> <laughs> Why? If it would happen to me, I would do the same, right? Anyways, I have this uh, optimistic view of life. Uh, so I go, I knock on the window, and the minute I do it, and the guy turns around, I know I made a mistake. This is one of my cousins from the Middle East. <laughs> <laughs> he walks out of the car, and he's like two heads taller than me. I know it's not a big deal, but he has two heads. <laughs> and he starts shouting at me, and, you know, using his fist. From the other side of the car comes another uh, steps, a woman with a hijab. She gets behind me, she starts yelling at me, and she starts using her fists. From nowhere, there is another woman that is coming, and she starts yelling at the guy, why is he yelling at me, and how dare he use his hands? And I take this moment, and I run. <laughs> I get into the car, and I really, I have, uh, you know, this pain here, and here, and I feel I'm gonna explode, and I'm very quiet. Yeah, not a good sign. My daughter is looking at me, not saying a word. Mama, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, I found the parking spot. Uh, they walk into Costco. Usually Costco is fine, fun, right? This guy that is on the door every time you walk in, get your card. I always get a compliment when I walk in from one of the happy guys, you know, my shoes, my earrings. This time nothing. The place is completely packed and busy. Everybody is running around. And the minute I walk in, I see my favorite couple next to the midsection, and this is my second chance. So I tell my daughter, you wait here, and I march fearlessly to those guys. When I'm behind the man and the woman, I say very quietly in a voice that only can, only they can hear, and I say, Kus Emek, which means your mother's vagina. <laughs> They freak out, they both uh, turn around, they see me. Okay, I'm going to yell right now, so okay. <laughs> and they start yelling at me the following. You're a crazy woman, which means, you're a crazy woman, may your father be fucked and your house destroyed. <laughs> and I understand everything, right? And I'm just standing there, 
I look very clean cut and innocent blonde, right? And I'm just looking at them and I'm like, is something wrong? Do you want me to call the police? Are you okay? And all Costco is watching us. <laughs> but nobody, I have to tell you one thing, nobody came to help me. They, they see that everybody is watching us, but it became a bad thing. Like suddenly people started walking. <coughs> So they just left everything and ran away from the place. <laughs> just left and, and really ran. Everybody now is looking at me and I'm like, starting to walk and look for my daughter, right? I don't know where she is. Costco is a big uh, place. My daughter, because she knows her mother, ran to the other side of the store <laughs> and was hiding there. And then she saw me, she said, okay, can you go home? Please, no. <laughs> so as I say, it's very important to know languages, especially in coastal parking lots. <laughs>